Hi everyone, this is Ubay here. It's been a while I created any sort of videos and not my fault. It's just that my Mac, every time I recorded anything on the screen, while saving or while recording, it used to crash. Finally, I got chance to just remove all the RAM and bought new ones. Hopefully it will work this time. So many times I recorded the videos and spent half an hour or maybe 45 minutes and after that it used it just used to crash let's see so um, this would be my first tutorial after long break and uh, I'm not going to keep this very long so that you don't get bored there's no background music either so we will try to keep it short as much as we can so um, as you can see um, this is a natural light portrait of Indy I took a few months ago it was bright daylight but we were using a small screen just to cover her upper body so that uh, it looks like this but it was bright and sunny at that point and i was shooting at f1.4 so you can imagine how um, it was really bright i had to use an nd filter but that's not the topic here there's the exif data we have it was shot at 1 by 2 thousandths of second ISO 100 and my favorite lens 85 mil by the way I just upgraded to Sony a7R 3 I'm really looking forward to try that more I've just done one or two photo shoots with that yet let's see by first look I really like this image as is I don't think even I mean, not bragging here but I don't think we have to edit it here but I just want to polish this image looking uh, if you see really closely it just with my big screen maybe I'm just looking at few bits and pieces here and there if we clean those up the image should be ready to go um, I was in double mind should I uh, this is not the correct white balance so um, we'll go with while fixing the white balance first so if you see the usual white balance or when I was shooting would be somewhere here the image looks cool and the color tones skin tones are much better but somehow I am slowly liking this tone as well I'm not too sure which way to go with this tutorial I will just go with slightly correct white balance and maybe later on I will just give it a try if I like the golden tones or not so first thing fix the white balance or correct your colors before uh, you go with the editing further because if you leave the color cast here now it will reflect in your image and it doesn't look right in the end if you are trying to fix later in the uh, process or workflow you have I like this image as is here so no for the changes on white balance part exposure it looks quite okay means there are no high highlights clipping shadows are okay I may try to just reduce the contrast a little bit yeah there you go one more thing let me just try if I like the color yeah that looks much flatter so I, I just want less contrast which I can uh, improve later in Photoshop but from Lightroom I want as much detail as possible let's see what about highlights just a bit maybe yeah midtones just to bring out the details on these areas here should be okay here I'm not going to touch anything in the whites maybe just bring out blacks to get these details and maybe just in the jeans and clarity now so there's no defined process I do on every single image it depends on all different type of images so you there's no one to fit everything I'm not going to change anything with vibrance and saturation because this doesn't look really good here just leave it there first thing I'm going to go back here 
do I need to remove this vignette I have in this image let's see usually I really like vignette in my images so I'm not too sure whether I have to remove it or not let's remove it and we're not doing anything here no saturation increase no so I would like to uh, keep the color changes or any sort of extra correction to Photoshop just keep the image as flat as possible so that should be enough here no sharpening no noise reduction no split toning here I could do the color grading and everything here but I want to finish it after I am done with the eyes and just cleaning up small bits and pieces here and there maybe nah it doesn't look good this yeah that might work just a bit yeah all right so I guess we are done in Lightroom and I'm being pretty quick this time I'm just thinking should we split the videos from Lightroom and Photoshop then people will lose interest we'll just keep them here all right let's see before and after this was before after I still like the warmer tones but for sake of it we will go with slightly cooler tones maybe I see there's a bit of magenta here on the skin maybe just a bit somewhere there how about this let's make it minus one and there I guess we should be okay so we're done with the Lightroom thing which we are doing here I'll export it to Photoshop and do the rest of the editing there while it's loading uh, I have been thinking about making videos behind the scenes like when we are shooting natural light portraits I usually shoot alone so it's either me with a makeup artist and the model or just me and the model so it depends or sometimes we have someone helping us out with the reflector which is quite helpful to be honest but uh, we'll see if we can make some videos and I will try to post uh, plan is to just post every week or not if not every week at least once in a fortnight so keep an eye on it all right so we have the image loaded in Photoshop first thing we do is just a cleanup I really like the spot healing brush in new Photoshop it has improved a lot I'll show you the power of it so these things have been bugging ever since I started looking at this image let's see if I can just fix it and there you go my Mac now now because you know what we are doing here it might be bugging but once you zoom out it shouldn't be that distracting I'm not going to clean up all this thing it kind of helps portraying you have some movement with the air so this should be fine and I know I have edited on the background image it doesn't really matter for me for now but usually what I do is create an image and then do everything there so that if I want I can revert the changes in future so let's go from here let me see if anything looks bad and this is my Mac running slow looks okay now you can see 
and this is very being very picky means uh, I can even leave them as is in the photo it's just that I wanted to show off Duh. honestly Photoshop has increased not increased they've improved their spot healing brush a lot no that doesn't look good okay so that is all good yeah I remember this see if it works otherwise we have other ways of doing it yeah should be okay and this thing I know this was annoying so, while shooting I thought it would look cool but apparently it doesn't yeah just leave it as is no that's so much and I'm not going to make the image really perfect I'm just trying to take out the obvious things which shouldn't be there generally it's all good and Stella who was the makeup artist she did really good job otherwise there are a lot of things usually if you're not using a makeup artist or if the makeup is not good it takes a while to just do clean up she did a good job here and this brush is helping me a lot I don't have to sample or collect data from other spots in the image and because these changes are very minor so we can get away with them does it look good no and All right, uh, this thing is bugging me. Does this look good? Almost. All right, we can live with that. So the cleanup is done. There are minor changes you can see here. Before, after. This one here has just been bugging me. Okay, while I'm here, just take this thing as well. Alright, now uh -huh. this is a never ending process. More you do, you just get lost in fixing all those things. Anyway, so this is all good. I will name the layer like clean up now next thing we are going to do is because for kids I generally don't do a lot of skin retouching because uh, most of the time the skin is really good but um, just there are things like here I have to fix just to make image look much nicer otherwise even this is fine but I just want to do some cleanup you'll see after the result after I'm done with dodge and burn so I'm going to use dodge and burn for a basic skin retouching and usually uh, these are only two layers with curve adjustment and set on luminosity so because it's regular process on every single image I use I have created a um, what do you call action and I'm just going to use that and where did it go there you go so it just created dodge and burn with curve adjustment very simple set on luminosity blending mode that's all it is now i need a reference where i can use that and do the dodge and burn so i may first thing i can do is create a black and white layer there are a lot of ways to do it um, I'm just doing it this way this time whatever st strikes my mind at the time of editing I just use that so this gives me slightly better idea 
but still so next thing I'm going to use is another curve adjustment or if I leave this and no 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 all right just leave this as is does this help no what if i use a gradient map yeah that's better it just gives me contrast something to work with should be okay so now i'm going to do just a little bit of dodge and burn so i'm using my brush tool setting the flow to 0.1 percent color to white because i have inverted the layer and we are just going to fix the obvious transitions from dark to white like this now i'm not going to do it really perfect because it will take a while so we just go with what looks very obvious and after recording if this Mac crashes I'm honestly going to sell this and get myself a new PC of burn there I keep zooming in and out so that you know the difference I'm gonna make these two into a group so I can see what's happening move dodge I could have added you might be hearing some background noise I could have added more something for music here but uh, this is first video after a long time I'm not really hopeful if it gets saved and again dodge and burn is again never-ending process more you do it more you keep getting lost it's a maze alright I think for it is done let's see before after there's subtle changes but they do make a difference all right let's go here i'm not going to make it look like plastic so that you have to have texture i'm just getting rid of something which has been annoying me a bit otherwise this looks all right and there so if you see before after i'm not getting rid of texture just leaving it there Fix the other side. Now just leave it there. 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 Stop burn to just let it merge. 
there. Hmm. All right, this thing was there. And some dodging. All looks good there. Anything here? Just a bit of burning this way. It might be from the reflections. Almost there. And then more. Bits and pieces here. Alright. I guess we are done. Ah, we don't need to see a mark but that's fine all right so let's see this is how first remove our black and white things and then receive before after let me get closer a bit yep <clears throat> so this was before we had slightly like a bit of imperfections there and because of the reflection on the light here i was this was getting some shadows this side was almost fine so let's see this was before and this is after this should be enough for us now i'm going to use the same dodge and burn just to give you a bit of shine in some places like this uh oh sorry not painting with the same brush size all right this looks good or oh, maybe here Let's see, this was before and after, before, after, not much of a difference, but it makes the image look more polished. I think we are done here for the skin retouching, I'm just going to keep it really quick so that I have to retouch eyes. I could do it the same dodge and burn, but want to leave it separate so that if I make some mistakes, I can go back. I'm going to create another layer, make it overlay, maybe 60%, just go there. Now the light passes through the eyes in a different ways. In her case, we had the light source from there, the sun was from this angle. But because we were covering from a screen, we were not getting harsh shadows and not enough catch light on the eyes. So I'm not going to sharpen the eyes like sometimes it feels like I've done that. I'm just going to add a bit of catch light. So make it make the image pop. How we do that? All set here. Now light will enter from this side. So we have a bit of light from here. And it will reflect. So the only use of ray optics I could find in my life, which I studied in high school years ago is in photography here 
that's man. although in photography uh, even setting up the lights and everything you use the ray optics but this is where i could find uh, prism and um, refractions reflection all those things so i'm glad i did the high school that time with physics so i'm going to just paint over here and just zoom out see if it still looks natural I guess it should be okay this side was slightly flatter and then make it a bit more oh. Cool. So I think we are done with our eyes and skin. So next thing I'm going to do is color grading and make the tones uh, slightly appealing to eyes. Even though this is better, it's just that I like the way that way. Deleting these two layers which are of no use. Let's see, eyes, all right, one more thing. I could do some dodge and burn on her skin. Let's see if it feels good. So just group it there. I will create another layer with soft light, neutral gray, go, hmm. what do you call it? Controlling cutting, just say DNB global, and with the same one percent flow, just let's see. I'm going to paint the, just small strokes just to give light and direction on the face. That's it. Should be okay. Some buns. There. Not needed. That's it. So you see the difference? Very, very subtle, but I like the way. It shapes the light on the face so all good all right so we are done with the skin this is before after now we will quickly do our color correction or color grading and then we finish this tutorial before it gets too big all right and I'm worried about it if it gets saved or not let's see so first thing because this image has a um, lot of uh, not a lot of but vibrant colors and um, it it looks more saturated so first thing I'm going to do is flatten it just a little bit can do it with hue saturation or channel mixer let's see Use saturation. I should use the yeah, overall saturation just a little bit and then go to reds. See what all do we have for reds. Alright, so we need slightly less reds there and then yellows. Yeah, we got a lot of yellows here. Alright. and make it color all right all looks good now we go to selective coloring and i'm going to tone this image into a uh, golden in the highlights and shadows will be slightly greener so setting up for that No magenta, so 
Det er lidt det sætter Yellow, ja, vi er vormt som yellow Det er det tæt Vi går til yellows Så so, I will show you the before and after After I'm done You will not see much of a difference on the screen while I'm editing No magentas Bit of yellow Yes There's not, not much green here I guess we'll have some blues here Nope Alright Nope Science Okay, there you go Let's dark a bit So this is our minor selective coloring all right so now this image is almost there i just have to get the colors in highlights and shadows and we should be good to go so next thing i'm going to add is oh i can do just over here color balance so highlights and we make them just a bit mm -hmm. should be okay now I'm going to go with two colors here and see which one looks much better which one looks better da, da. Right. that's it and then we go to shadows in shadows I don't go beyond minus five generally until that image has something in this case this should be enough let's make it minus two i'm not going by the number i'm just going what feels good and i'm editing this image for the first time so whatever feels good while editing so this was before we did the color balance this is after it gives a bit of contrast now let's get rid of this and i will add one more color balance just to test my theory now this one i'm going to go the other way around add golden or red orientation red tones in the darker side of the image or in the blacks and shadows and okay. Alright. So this was there or this was there. Somehow I feel the second one looks much nicer. I, mean, I like this way. So we'll just go with this one. Now, group days, and let's see what we have done in coloring. So this was before we got into coloring, and this was after. Not much of a difference, but that's how I do it. And then we group everything here, and see, end to end. So this was before we started editing, and this is after. before after that should be it i will be sharpening this image uh, but that's just usual and merge these layers uh oh All right. Somehow it's not merging it. It's fine. So I will just sharpen this image and that's the end of our tutorials. Hopefully I will be making more videos. Just make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'm not sure I haven't I've said that ever, but yes, 
if you want to watch the videos you have to subscribe and follow me on instagram for if you want to see this image and that's it thank you so much and have a happy new year